Welcome back. We're on to our second portion of the tutorial. We're going to do our final outline of the neck shape with this template. It's a quarter inch plexiglass and it has a um, center line to uh, match it with the blank and standard fender mounting holes in the heel and the headstock. I've added a third in the center to reduce any flex. That'll come out once I route the uh, truss rod channel. And I also have the tuning holes and mounting screw holes in the headstock for future operations as well. Here's the blank and you can see the center line there and the heel mounting hole as well. And uh, that's a five quarter piece of flat sawn maple. It has really nice uh, quarter sawn figure at the side and a really nice uh, grain on the back and front. It should look, out, should look really well when it's done. Here you can see the piece is being pulled against the rotation of the bit. Because I'm using a taller one inch bit, its potential to grab material is greater than using a smaller bit. And uh, when I made this blank, I kept it as close to the template line as possible. And I'm just working uh, the straights first. I will probably use a, an oscillating spindle sander to do the rounds at the headstock. And um, that way I have better control. Here I'm doing the treble or the base side of the neck. And I'm coming up to the headstock. You'll notice that I don't keep going around. Uh, I feel a little more confident using that spindle sander. Here I'm just working at the headstock. You'll notice that the uh, transition has already been cut out at the headstock. The only reason for that is I didn't have a bandsaw at my place and I wanted to get as many operations done on the bandsaw at the time. Uh, one's on the way, so things would be done differently. Normally I'd leave that, drill my tuner holes and then cut out that transition. But uh, I left enough material there, there should be no tear out or chipping from the drilling process. And now we're on to the heel. Here I'm just slowly working around the corner of the neck and uh, when I uh, prepared this blank I brought it as close to that template as I uh, felt I could without going past so that I had less material for that bit to grab. If you're going to have any trouble that's where you're going to have it. Alright next we're on to doing the truss rod channel. See you there. <laughs> 